What's up guys? So I have my GraphQL server template up right here. And what I want to show you today is how to add pagination to it. We're going to do a, a really fast, really simple way to add pagination to pretty much any mutation you want or any query, if you will, um, that makes it super easy. So before we get started, I'm going to check out a different branch. I'm going to check out uh, 14 just because on branch 15, I have some other stuff where I'm also running a React server um, from it, and I don't need that. And I just tried to create a branch with this dash B, but we just need to check it out. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and get check out 16 simple pagination. All right, now we can get started. So what I first want to do is paginate suggestions. Now, if you don't have this um, template, I'll have it in the link in the description below. You can go ahead and grab it from GitHub. And there's also um, a video series along with this if you want to see how this was made. So, create suggestion, we have a mutation for creating it. And it looks like you can get user suggestions. I want to create two queries here. Suggestions, which literally returns all the suggestions in the database. And then another one, suggestions, um, like we even basically, what's another name for it? Let's say um, some suggestions. And we're going to give it two things for pagination. Uh, the first is a limit, which is going to be an int, and we have to get that value, and an offset, which we also need that value. And yeah, then we're going to turn a non null list and non null suggestions. Um, so, this we're just going to literally grab all the things in um, the database. For some suggestions, we're going to limit how many we're showing by this field. So, if we say we only want five, we're only going to get five. And the offset is how far we want to go in the list. So, that lets us paginate it. So now I'm going to come over here to resolvers and add these two. So we have query right here. So first I'm going to just do suggestions. And I'm not going to worry about auth or any of that sort of thing. We'll get parent args and models. We don't actually need um, args. So I'm going to say models.suggestion.findall. Right, and then that'll go ahead and give me all of them. But now, what about if I want to get some suggestions? Well, it's actually super easy. So GraphQL, or not GraphQL, SQLize, uh, is what we're using to grab these, actually has a limit and a, what was the other one, offset, um, built into SQLize. So I can just say limit offset right here. Um, bam. And I can even, you know, I'm expanding these and then putting them right here. So what I could do, this is equivalent, is just say, oops, save this again. Um, what I could say instead is right here, I could just make this args and pass the args in here. All right, so let's go ahead and test these functions out that we just created. I'm going to come back to terminal and just do npm start to start the server. And I'm going to come over here to Chrome and go to low close 3000 slash graphical. And now, if we didn't make any errors, the server should start up and we can come and check this out. Okay. So, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and create a, a user and a board that we can use to actually. Um, we need, so the way the server set up, you need a user and a board to create a suggestion. So I'm going to create these so we can do it. So I'm going to call this guy uh, Bob2, because I feel like I already have a Bob probably here. And do I need anything else? Nope, just looks like I just need username. And this might be already broken. Nope, it's not. Okay. So now whatever ID you get, we're going to have to remember what that is. Um, and then we're going to create a board as well. Create board, owner. Um, I'm going to set the owner to this guy, which I'm set to 5, and then the name is going to be Bob's Bob to board. Um, not authenticated, 
So we need to be authenticated to create boards. I'm going to get rid of that restriction. That way we can make this example. So it just came down to the mutation, create board, and then got rid of that. So now if I rerun it, good, we can create a board, one. So now I can create suggestions, and I'm just doing this. That way we can uh, go ahead and see if I create some, that way I can create suggestions and show you guys. I'm just inserting data into the database. So that way I can show you pagination is working. So let's we'll create one, two, three, four, let's do six. No, let's do seven. Five, six, seven. All right. There's probably better ways you could, there are definitely better ways you could just insert data if you wanted to. Um, but let's go ahead and now we can get all the suggestions like this, right? Um, now this works for the small example I have, but if you had like, say, a million plus, this is not a great way to do it. And that's why you, you would use some suggestions. Here, I can limit it. I can say, I just want one back, right? Um, offset of type int is required but not provided. Oh, and we said we need to provide an offset, an offset of zero. So now we get the ID one. And we should also do the text so that it makes sense. Let's get rid of the ID actually. Uh, so now we get A back. Um, if I did a limit of two, we get A and B. Um, but I can come back here, and this offset is how you paginate. So if I want two, uh, I move to C. If I bring it back down to one, we'll go to B. Um, and we'll go to three, this will be D. And you can just page through. And now you can say, you know, what size you want. So I could do two at a time. So grab A, B. And now let's say I want to get uh, A, B, C. Um, you'll notice we get B, C. Um, and that's because we're just offsetting by one. So let's say we offset by, go up to three, we should get D, E. Let me see D, E here. So that's just a super simple way to add pagination uh, using GraphQL. Uh, you can see how easily we added this, and so you only get some results back, and you can have it filtered. Um, now, this is not the most optimal way to actually do pagination in GraphQL, um, but this is super simple, and it'll work if your data is not ginormous. But like when you get into like the millions or the five millions. Uh, plus of data and you have tons of rows. This is not very performant um, It's actually better to do cursors um, So I'm going to talk about that in a future video how to add do pagination with cursors and also um, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually use GraphQL in the react native app so we can actually use this um, Pagination that we just created with limit and offset and actually see it pop up in our list view that we created. Because um, it, this is how we implement the back end, right? And I'll show you how the front end works too. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.